Next up here on Enhance and Photo Merge, we have the Photo Merge Group Shot. Now this shot is designed for fixing problems if you're taking a picture of a group and in one picture somebody's blinking and in a different picture somebody else is blinking, that kind of thing, or somebody turns their head. And yeah, as you, I, I hope, do when you're taking pictures of a group of people, you take two or three shots of the same thing. And that way you can use the best parts from each of those shots and merge those together. Now I have kind of an extreme example here on this. Something else which you can do. Here's a picture of our couch and there's a stuffed penguin right there. We only have just the one stuffed penguin. But as you can see here, I've moved the penguin around to different locations on the couch. You can see there's a little different shift in the picture sometimes. The couch moves a little bit. There we go. The rug moves just a little bit as well in there. So I have these different shots and I can actually merge all these together into one picture with a bunch of penguins on the couch. Just multiplying that penguin using the exact same technique. So let's take a look at that. Enhance, photo merge, group shot, and I'll open all of these pictures. You can use up to 10 pictures. You have to have at least two. You can use up to 10. I think I have about six in here. Okay, so we're going to drag a group photo to the final window and then we'll work on each one of our merges. So I'll just go down here to the last one. I'll use that one as my final shot. And then we'll start from the top. Okay, here's my first position. I'll grab the pencil tool. No, notice the outline here. They're a little different on the outline. Photoshop Elements has already gone in and looked at the content of the picture and tried to align the picture up. So it's already aligned the picture for us. Okay, I'll grab the pencil tool here. And I'm just going to draw around that one penguin right there. And that moves him in. Let's go to our next picture here and I'll draw around this penguin and that brings him in. Let's go to our next one. You can see I can still see where these pictures are so I make sure I don't overlap on my areas. There's that penguin. Okay, let's come down a little bit. Is our red outline. This guy's way up here at the back, so I'll just grab him. There we go. And one more penguin right here. This is the dark blue outline, and I'll just grab this guy. And there we go. So it's taken those areas from all of those different pictures down below here, from those five different pictures, and it has merged those into this original shot. You can erase if you want to clean out some area. You can zoom in to see how it looks if you want to. There's the zoom up here. You can show different regions that it's grabbing. You can see there that's grabbing a lot of that region around there, obviously. But that's okay. That, that part hasn't changed, so there's no problem on that. And there are some advanced options down here. If you need to come in and carefully align your pictures, you can do that if it hasn't managed that already for you. I'll just choose Done. And there we go. There is my new picture, which has that one penguin all over the place. See there, let's just get rid of that little line. So there it is. There is the group merged picture. Again, the camera was sitting on a tripod, so the camera was staying still and then I just moved that one penguin around and took several shots and then used the group merge. But This gives you the, the same basic idea. If you have somebody over here that's blinking in one shot but he looks great in a different shot and over here there's somebody over here is blinking in this shot but look good in that shot, choose one of those shots as your final picture and then go back and steal the good shot of the face from the other picture or, or the, you know, the person and then just merge those images together. The important thing here to make this work out as well as possible, again, is to, if you can, have the 
camera on a tripod so the camera is very stable and is going to be moving around. You can hand hold it. If, if you hand hold it, try to visualize a reference point. Like in here, I try to visualize that corner of the carpet right against that edge and this corner down here. So you can try to hit those same spots to get the the position of the camera as close as possible in each one of your shots to get the best results from this particular tool. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.